big up King Mix Up, you don't know there. Yeah. Yeah, me and Sonoma and Ijibo are representing for King Mix Up, the number one source for the latest in dancehall entertainment. Yeah, yeah! Okay, boom, viewers, welcome back to the channel. Subscribers, you already know how we do, bless. Hope I never know one for day today, but you know my style. One bag a bag and I wanna gotta continue giving the updates on the people you see and don't see on the screen. That's why it's extremely important to watch the end. And with that being said, boy, oh boy, oh boy, it seems like Sean Kingston might be in a little bit of hot water. Yes, and a lawsuit might be on his way um, <laughs> over a plane that he's having issues with. His email said he took to his IG page earlier today to let the world know that he was being scammed, allegedly, um, by Navajets. His email said the people them you see in at the beginning, them take a picture with his email said. And as you can see, it looked like said they might try to do a switcheroo upon him, um, according to him, but... Um, before we get into that in what sean has to say in show as his evidence um as you can see he went under her comment section and you know saying you know all plane can't even move blah 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 but she said do you want me to post the signed contract and we'll have to get into that but let's take a listen to what he is saying now and then we we'll proceed yo what up it's your boy sean kingston I just want to say, man, whenever they see you doing good, they always try to come in and prevail. The devil is always working. Nova Jets, the reason why I didn't buy your raggedy ass jet is because your jet was old. I have all the receipts for my captain. I have all the receipts for my business manager. Everybody telling me not to buy your old ass jet. You lied on me and said it was a G4. When I got there and looked at your jet, your jet was a G3. You said it was built in 2002. Your jet was not built in 2002. Your jet was built in 1985. Listen to me. I have all the receipts. I'm not about to go back and forth with you. You were scammer. You tried to scam me, and you luckily mad that I got out of it because I went to my lawyer and I made sure before I signed anything that he told me to do a medical inspection, which I'm about to show right now. We didn't do the inspection because you know your plane was not what it said to be. I also have receipts from PJ Kev, which is now the guy who I bought my new plane from. He also told me do not buy that fucking jet. All right, so I got received for Okay, yeah, so putting that in the comment section, what do you think about what I'm going from what I'm going so far? As you can see, he said, you know, expecting a lawsuit coming in, you know, the girl's comment section and stuff and stuff because she said, you know, she got the contract and all of these things. You know what I mean? But then he released some DMs, you know, with some people having the similar issues. And, you know, he said, no inspection, no deal, <laughs> basically. So I don't know if, you know, there's another name that has to be signed on the contract or whatnot. Um, but man, he said it was all good a week ago, though. You feel me? And he said, yeah, scammed work. You see me? I said, ah, oh, boy, putting out a comment section. What are you thinking about that? Because, no, am I saying some things um, from May 27, basically, from the owner saying that, you know, things was a mistake and all of this stuff. And you know, oh no, they can press pause and read the DMs. And when I start telling them what I go on, from what I go on, they see me as uh, And no, Sean don't really have a good track record uh, with doing business with people, you know, because I'm always, you know, do him dirty. We see in his name being called up with the jewelers and all of this stuff. Uh, we heard rumors about hosting at Jamaica and men's get repossessed and all of these things and things, you see me as uh, um, but man, he was so happy the other day when he bought this, you feel me? I think he's on tour with Shaggy and all of these things and things. So anyway, people now got longer this no longer. Let's proceed to the next. Okay, people, time for some more baga baga because me know no love Kamar McGregor, but his life might be in danger. As you can see, he posted Chris Chin from VP Records CEO threatening him on the phone after Chris, <laughs> you know, a VP Records and Oliver Chaston Forge. You know, Kamar McGregor's signature and sold, you know, his music publishing catalog to BMG Management in 2010. And, you know, these are the same people that, you know, produced by 10 and 10 album and all of these stuff. So this is all alleged because, you know, I know me, I say, me just I say what me say publicly out there waiting on the VP Records response. But let's take a listen to what, you know, Kamar has to say and then we'll proceed. VP Records. Yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah man, me, I am I am one of the only one who really like come out and 
actually talk about VP records, you know. Uh, I guess everyone else in reggae really afraid to talk about VP records. But <clears throat> I'm telling you something. It's when me come out and me talk about VP records. Everything what me say, right? All of this is on the court record in a federal court. Every discussion, everything when me talk about VP records, it's not frivolous, right? Nothing about VP records is frivolous, is frivolous right? Everything is on, a, is on the federal court. Yeah, man. So, VP records, right? I always talk about what VP records do to me, right? And I don't want, I don't want, it's not a joke, I don't want to joke something. I don't want to joke something when, when I, a, a major company, because VP records considered as a major company in a reggae. Even them brand themselves, so them they are a mile ahead, a mile ahead in reggae, right? So, I don't want to draw company, VP Records, right? Big company. And when, if a big company like VP Records, CEO, right? Christian, them, Christian can forge a signature and then body up and tell us, say, yo, is either you call me tomorrow or do what you want to do or take it to another level? You hear me say to you? This is a CEO from a company, Christian, right? I go tell me upon the phone, say, yo, after the man forged my signature and sell my, sell my publishing catalog to BMG, the man tell me, say, yo, upon the phone, say, is he there call me tomorrow, I go work it out, or do what you want for do, take it to another level. That it, this is what a, a CEO from a company said to a little youth from the ghetto, you know? I get to me come from, you know. Yo. When me born and grew up, you know, it's like a buckle to watch me sip on a barrel top, you know. Get to re get to me born, you know, you know. And this is an executive. Some Chinese people just come take where I get to you to one and body him up on the phone and say, yo. You see, they call me tomorrow for work it out, or guess what? Do what you want to do and take it to another level. This is our VP record CEO, Christopher Chin, look for me and tell me. On the phone. Man, him bad me up. Man, him forge my signature, take on my rights, bad me up, sell my publishing and tell me, say, yo, me for do one more after do. You know what the man him do me? Every company I work with, VP record is a book and call the man them or send the man them email and say, yo, you are. And we control him. I do no business with him. The man them squeeze my life out of me. Every company me work with the man them just about and send VP records and send over a contract. Say, yo, we control Kemar. We control everything Kemar do not do no business with him. The man them am dead for hunger for years. Suffering. That part of my French fuck with me mentally. I tell you, to a point where I not even want to come in my studio. I don't want to do music. I stop the music for years. Because when the man do to me, fuck with me mentally. I say, yo, why me should continue doing music? If a set of people can just come, like Christian them and VP them, just come take with my rights and bat me up and tell me, say, yo, do what you want for do or take it to another level. This is what the man them tell me, you know. This is what Christian from VP tell me. Bad me, pick on my rights. How you the man them do? It's when they stand up and tell the man them say, yo, here what? Me not agree. The man them just a boop and blacklist me. Yeah, man, the man them blacklist me, man. Every company more work with the man them say, yo, don't work with him. Because if I don't work with him, we're going to sue no. The man them members suffer. All of the company them turn against me and say, yo, we're not going to work with you because VP Records said they control you. 
so you're a criminal. How can you be signed to VP Records and still doing business with us? Man, them blacklist me. No company now I work with me. Sufferation that our VP them do to a get a youth. Man, them bad me up. And sometimes people hear we talk and feel like, say, we come by the internet and we are look fame or we are look clout and them something. Like you want to deal with that? Come on, you can Google my name. We are one of the greatest in reggae. I will contribute so much to reggae, so we don't come on the internet for look that, for look clout and all I'm something. Like my accomplishment, big. Hundreds of time on the billboard charts. So when I look at clothing on the internet or nothing. We're just here to document this because the world needs to know. The upcoming youth, them in a reggae, need to know the business and know how wicked these people are. This is not a joke thing. So, we can't stay silent on these things and, and the youth, them, Need for no, cause the youth them, we don't want the youth them to make the same mistake that we make. We don't want the youth them to come see them people and feel like they're good, cause they're not good. These China people are not for us, they're not for reggae. You hear me say to you know? The man, VP Records, and them CEO, the man them forged my signature, big company. And sell my publishing. I say when me talk, I make the man them tell me say, yo, is it here come work it out with me? Or call me. Or do what you want to do and take it to another level. Badness. I saw bad man you in Jamaica. I saw when a man rub in a Jamaica man say, yo, hey boy. Do what you want to do. That a CEO. From VP Records tell me. Jamaica style, man. Jamaica style, but big for me in America. Yeah. Jamaica style, man, bring for me. Man, bad me up. Bad me up. Take on my things. Take on my publishing. That's how VP do to me. Let me suffer. And the man, them tell every label, every major label, don't work with that boy. They don't work with him. He's a criminal. And I tell you no. The man them sue me in the federal court over my own rights. And the man them Christian and VP records them as a so-called Jamaica, Kingston, Jamaica. We're not talking about Jamaica, Queens in New York. We're talking about the country, Jamaica. VP records start from Kingston, Jamaica. So it's a Jamaica company. And if a Jamaica record company in America can deal with a Jamaican so the man them deal with me a shit likewise the man them deal with every artist boy you like them a shit pardon my French them Chinese people is not for us the man them say we has nothing man them take my rights and then carry me in a court and then I tarnish my reputation with a judge the man them tell the judge say yo we give, the book, we, give, we, we, give, we give Mr. McGregor 200, 200 and 200 and 50 thousand US dollar. And him don't want another contract. That's what the man them tell the court, you know. The man them file a lawsuit in the court and tell the court, say, Ewa, we give Mr. McGregor 250 thousand dollar and him don't want another contract. And guess what? Guess what, people? You see the fraudulent publishing agreement when the man them forge me signature and guess how much a contract said the contract said the man them pay me three thousand us dollar for sign away my entire rights them own me but when the man them file a lawsuit the man them put it on the court record say yo them pay me two hundred and fifty thousand dollar and the man them slaughter me the man them the judge look at me as a like a black criminal youth from jamaica and we all know the system are sometimes by the color of skin them treat with.
Yeah, I'll put the full link um to the video, um the whole video, because he talked for like an hour, so you know <laughs> he was getting spicy. You know what I mean? But if you made it this far to the video and saying you're tired of him and this that, I need you to follow my hip hop channel on YouTube, as you can see, and follow my website mixupandthings.com because I be uploading all day, every day on different stuff, on a variety of things. You feel me? And also follow me on Instagram and ting and ting. But I'm not longer. This is not longer. Just giving a quick update with Sean Kingston. And then um, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell too. And be notified when I drop the latest in dance on news, music, or reviews, and gossips. Bless.